Warning! Before working on any equipment, be sure to save any work and disconnect all power to the equipment. Welcome to Rhino Fab Tutorials. Today, we will cover how to install a Rhino Stop System. The Rhino Stop System will include a computer, printer, set screws, bolts, button box, spacer plates, and single axis controller. The tools required for this installation are a 13 mm socket, a 4 mm long Allen, a 6 mm long Allen, a precision Phillips screwdriver, and a small Phillips screwdriver. Begin by mocking up the table configuration. The tables with the attachment points should be in the middle. Make sure that the holes in the top of the table are on the back side for all tables. On the tables without the attachment points, unscrew the bolts for the sides that will be put together. Then, insert the attachment points into the tables that need to be pushed together. Insert the bolts into the top of the table and use the 4mm Allen to tighten them. Using the 4mm Allen, tighten the screws on the bottom of the table. With the tables assembled, set your rail on the tables near the mounting holes. Make sure that the red flip plate is facing the front. Rotate the rail onto the side with the flip plate facing down. Insert the set screws into the nuts on the bottom of the rail and align them with the mounting holes on the table. Put a spacer plate over each set of set screws. Position the rail so both ends match the edges of the tables. Align the spacer plates with the mounting holes again. Rotate the rail back to its original side. Align the set screws with the holes. Be careful of pinch points during this step. Locate the monitor enclosure key and open the front and back doors of the enclosure. Locate the power box inside of the enclosure. Run the power cord for the power box through the hole in the bottom of the enclosure. The other end will need to connect to a 110 volt outlet. Locate the single axis controller and install it with the controller ports facing the back side of the enclosure. Locate the yellow button box cable, the motor power cable, and the motor encoder cable. Run these three cables through the hole on the back side of the enclosure stand. Connect the motor power and encoder cable to the motor. The encoder cable will plug into the top and the power cable will plug in on the bottom. Locate the computer and place it into the enclosure. Place at the front of the enclosure. Connect all of the connections inside the enclosure to the computer. On the left side of the computer, there is a USB cable, display port cable, and a computer power cable. On the right side of the computer, there are two more USB cables. These two USB cables connect to the external USB ports on the side of the enclosure. Connect the Ethernet cable that is connected to the single axis controller into the computer port labeled LAN1. This concludes our RhinoStop install tutorial. For questions about setup or use, please call our support team at 480-985-4926.